Let's see how you did. Let's see how you did. Nice. 
Drop by any time. Get here. People come and they go. Yes. Some people may stay with you though. I am all alone. Hmm. Feel a bit different today. This is a nice change of pace. fun today. Today we're going over. Oh, 
Hi. There's something I'd like to discuss with you. Would you mind if I joined you for lunch? Let's discuss that elsewhere. What say we head to the roof? It's starting to get rather cold, is it? Sorry to bring you here. This is something I oughtn't really bring up around other people. Senpai, are you still planning to continue on as the Phantom Thieves? Lately, I haven't been hearing any positive gossip about the Phantom Thieves. Despite how much people cheered on your cause, even though they knew nothing about you or your friends, all they do now is speak ill of the Phantom Thieves. I know it's not my place to say this, considering I turned down your offer to join and all, but this change in attitude is simply awful. They're doing the exact same thing to you all that they did to me. Yet, you're still going to keep at it? Why, senpai? Take care of something. Hmm. I see. Yeah. But don't worry about us. There isn't even a one in a million chance that my phantom thieves could ever lose. I see. Well, I won't stop you. However, could I ask a favor? Or rather, could you promise me something? Once things settle down, I'd like you to join me somewhere so we can go have some fun together. Don't say things like that, even if you're just joking. I'm already beginning to look forward to it. So, please be careful out there. I plan to keep my other promise I made with you about the physical training. Tomorrow. Is that too sudden? Maybe we should train the day after tomorrow then? Uh, but that day's when... Mm. I see. Mm. Oh, I haven't eaten yet! Come on, senpai. You need to eat too. No one wins a fight on an empty stomach, you know. Hey.
Yep. Really do this. Excuse me. Just at this. No! 
Nice going. Now, let's carry out our plan. Okay. Hey! Nice going! All right. All right. Well then. Ah. Good morning. Glad to hear it. I wanted to discuss something with you, since it'll be our last chance to do so here. Well, my role as Shujin's counselor does end today. So technically, it'll be our last opportunity to converse here at the school. I do have a farewell speech to give the school at morning assembly, but I'd also like to speak with you individually. Considering the occasion, lunch is on me. I'll have something special waiting for you. So you look forward to that. Well, I'll see you later. Dr. Mark, he's really leaving. It's already been half a year, huh? That sure went by fast. And finally, we would like Dr. Maraki to share a few last words with the students. Well, Doctor, if you will. <clears throat> Good morning, everyone. As the Vice Principal has mentioned, today marks the end of my tenure at Shujin Academy. Over the past several months, I've come to learn about all sorts of conflicts that you students have faced this year. Troubles with romance, with studies, in fact, some of you have financial issues that are awfully similar to my own. <laughs> but before I leave here, I want to offer you a final piece of counseling. If your situation ever becomes too painful to endure, remember, it's okay for you to escape your problem. I don't want a single one of you to think that an unfair reality you've been forced into is the only one that you have to live. It's okay. um, what I'm trying to say is, even if your life is full of worries, it's best for you not to obsess over them. Your existence in this world is an amazing miracle. You deserve to spend your days in happiness. I'll keep on rooting for all of you to have the best lives possible. Even after I'm long gone. Ow. <laughs> I guess things don't always pan out like you expect. Well, that's it. Thank you for having me here this year. Good luck to you all. Dr. Marley. Dr. Marky! <laughs> I wanted to thank him personally, but it may be best to hold off on that for a bit. Mm hmm. I doubt we could get a word in edgewise, anyhow. Thank you for coming here. Since this is about to be my last meal at Shujin, these tempura bowls are from a restaurant I've been curious about since I first came to the school. I'd always passed on it due to the price. I should be the one thanking you. All right, let's eat. Ooh, this aroma's really triggered my appetite. 
Too bad I can't see anything now. I'm so glad I splurged on that. Upscale dishes like that really do taste incredible. I wish I could just get lost in this bliss forever. Well, now that we've finished our food, let's get down to business. First off, I have quite big news. My paper's done. I've mentioned this before, but still, this is truly thanks to you. Had you not shared your experience and insights with me, this paper never would have been completed. Please, allow me to express my gratitude to you once more as a most helpful student of Shujin. And as a phantom thief as well. Huh. So you're not denying it. Why don't you take a look at the title of my paper over there? You know, the Phantom Thieves' act of changing hearts is rather reminiscent of cognitive science in practice. They infiltrate a reality that exists solely for their target. A reality wholly separated from the one that the public recognizes. By accessing that world, they gain the means of permanently altering their target's cognition. That is what I hypothesize as being the change of hearts you induce in your targets. Should I take your silence to mean I'm correct? To be entirely honest, it was all the way back in April, when I first came to speak with the principal here about providing counseling to you students. I actually witnessed the moment when you came out of an individual's reality like I'd mentioned. You suddenly appeared in the back alley near the school. I believe Sakamoto-kun and Takamaki-san were with you. Takamaki-san appeared to be extremely exhausted. Thanks. It wasn't long after that scene that Mr. Kamoshida had his change of heart. Beyond what I witnessed, I had also been told that you three were closely affiliated with Mr. Kamoshida in some way. At that point, I was already half convinced that you were involved. I was almost certain Mr. Kamoshida's change of heart was provoked by the three of you. Hmm, well, I've been researching cognitive science ever since I was a grad student. For years, I've been attempting to directly interact with an individual's cognition so I can help address their pain and despair. But, for certain reasons, this research has never been acknowledged in academia. Despite that, I continually pursued evidence that my hypothesis is correct. It was during that time I happened to come across the Phantom Thieves of Hearts fresh from a mission. My heart began to dance. I thought to myself, maybe I could complete my research if I were to have your assistance. That's why I approached you and your group of friends in the first place. I hadn't mentioned any of this until now because, well, I didn't want you to take it the wrong way and suspect my motives. But I think that's everything I'd kept from you. Does that change your opinion of me? Why would I do that? I like to think of myself as someone who wouldn't sell out a person to whom I owe so much. If you don't believe what I'm saying, you're free to change my heart as you like. Thanks to you, I finally know what I need to do. I'm going to stand up to our current reality. I swear I'll use my research to make our world a better place. Though. It'll likely be through different means than how the Phantom Thieves reform members of society. Indeed, you have a strong moral compass, never losing sight of your own definition of justice. I'm more grateful than ever to have met a young man like yourself. Although it's not like this is the last time we'll see one another, still, thank you for everything up to this point.
I am thou, thou art I. Thou hast turned a vow into a blood oath. Thou hast awakened the ultimate secret of the Counselor, granting thee infinite power. All right. All right. I'm going to follow the path that I believe in. I sincerely hope that one day, at the end of that path, I'll be able to aid you as well. Even if you just considered it to be meddling in your affairs. Whoops. Looks like we're out of time. We'll meet again though, right? That's right. Hey! No, it's nothing. Best of luck to the both of us. See you around. to drink as much coffee as we want. Ain't this place always empty, though? We should show appreciation for his kindness, you know. Let's ignore those details and just be happy with what we have. Um, we're supposed to be discussing where we should send the calling card. Considering how big the hype's gotten, she'll probably just think it's a prank, won't she? I could always put it on Sai-san's desk. People know me there, so I could gain access easily. That's not a good idea. If you're the only one who can get in there, it'll be easily traced back to you. I'll do it. I can just tell her it came for her in the mail. That would be the least risky method, no matter what she asks. I'll tell her I don't know anything. But Makoto, that's... You're our leader, so this will be up to you. Should we leave the calling card to Makoto? We're asking too much from Makoto, though. I'll be okay. I've already traversed far more dangerous ground than this. We will leave it to you, then. Thank you for agreeing to this. I will need to step up my game as well to make up for it. Very well, then. We'll enter from in front of the courthouse. Does six o'clock in the evening work for everyone? Yup, got it. Same as always. Well then, let's get ready for tomorrow. Dismissed. Okay. Anyway. Madame Sae Nijima, a great sinner of jealousy. You have lost yourself amidst your obsession with success. For its sake, you are even willing to promote injustice as justice. From the Phantom Thieves. I found it in our mailbox. To think they would send me one. They brand me a criminal and plan to change my heart? What nonsense. They only care about disposing of those who are an inconvenience for them. Fine. I'll just have to catch them first. And when you do, you're going to interrogate them, right? In some kind of underground room, was it? Why do you ask? Oh, I just remembered you mentioning something like that before. That's right. 
It will be in a special interrogation room underground. My time will be limited, but I will do whatever it takes to make them divulge their secrets. Let's do this fair and square. I should probably be getting back. It's late, but I should contact the director and let him know about this calling card. I expect things will calm down a little once this case is over. Once that happens, why don't we go on a trip to some hot springs? Just the two of us. Sis... I'm on your side. I won't let anyone do anything to you. <laughs> <laughs> what an odd girl. Do you need to make a call? I'll head up to my room then. I'm sorry for calling so late. This is Nijima. There's something I need to inform you of. I received a calling card from the Phantom Thieves. It was addressed to me directly and... Stand by? And you've transferred command of the investigation to someone else? No, of course not! Yes. I understand. I'll remain on standby until further instructions. Please excuse me. Okay. We can't afford any mistakes, especially not this time. Tomorrow... Are you all prepared? 
What of the calling card, Makoto? Makoto. I understand how you feel, but you mustn't be so downtrodden. It's way more than losing the place we belong. We could even lose our lives here, you know. It'll be all right. I want to save my sister, no matter what. Has everyone decided? Mm-hmm. All's well that ends well. So much has happened since we first started. You guys have become quite the reliable team. All right, Joker. This is the Phantom Thieves' final heist. Give us the signal! It's showtime! Do you have a moment? What kind of game will it be this time? No matter what you bring out, we will emerge victorious. You are making a grave mistake if you think you have the corner. I only guided you here because this place allows me to fight to my heart's content. Sis... When my father died in the line of duty, I hated his killer from the bottom of my heart. Dying to uphold justice sounds virtuous, but the ones left behind have to clean up the mess. Can you imagine the hardships I had to endure? Perhaps I had overestimated her. I thought her reasoning would have been more noble somehow. She's lost control. This is wrong. Justice cannot yield to evil. I must win, no matter what. This is nothing more than self-righteousness. All you need to do to determine who is right is bad. What is she intending? No more coins or playing games! We ain't following your damn rules! Oh, you will. There is no room for negotiation. You will know soon enough. What was that? Now, come at me! <laughs> You'll save her, right? <laughs> All right, everyone. Be on alert! <laughs> May the best player win! Alright, let's do it! It's time.
for not spinning the roulette. What should we do? Ah, so you've broken the rules. In that case, it's time you be penalized. This is your penalty! Joker, are you all right? What? This is the penalty? Those who cannot follow rules are not to be tolerated. That is simply how society operates. Joker, your health is low! Watch out! Persona! Okay. You will predict which pocket the ball will fall into. Now, the time has come for our first round. Choose where you will place your bet. I'm almost positive she's going to try and cheat. But even if we bring that up, she'd just ignore us. We should go along with the game for now, and try to gain evidence on her methods of cheat. I agree. Well, how... like the ball floated for a split second there. How humiliating. Let's catch her in the act so she can't talk her way out of it. Have someone snipe the pocket when that glass lid appears. We cannot allow this cheating to continue. I'm ready whenever. Leave it to me. I won't miss the mark. As long as I get close, even this gun should work. Leave it to me. This is how it's done. May the best player win! The stuff displayed on the monitor changed. That... Persona! All right. Persona! Let's go. Sniper is in our designated spot. All that's left is to wait for the next roulette spin. Very well, time to make your bet. Well, how will you bet? Hopefully your prediction will be correct this time. <laughs> Shut up! Shut up! 